Item Number SCP-3579 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures Any physical instances of SCP-3579-1 are to be taken down by undercover Foundation personnel, disguised as working men and women. Any website hosting digital instances of SCP-3579-1 are to be remotely changed as to not feature SCP-3579-1. All calls to SCP-3579 are to be traced and ended if possible. Research of SCP-3579 is only to be conducted by Level 2 staff using a cell phone with the phone number of SCP-3579 on speed dial kept in Storeroom 24 of Site-15. Description SCP-3579 is a telephone-operated service running under the name, quote, Instigator, end quote, using the telephone number 1-800. At random intervals, advertisements featuring SCP-3579 will appear in major cities. These are identified as SCP-3579-1. Instances of SCP-3579-1 will feature the phone number associated with SCP-3579 and the tagline Need some help with the troublemaker? Wish you could just eliminate her. We'll be your problem solver crusader. Just call us at Instigator. When the number associated with SCP-3579 is called, a pre-recorded voice asks the caller to name a destination. When a valid destination is spoken into the phone, the pre-recorded message asks them to press a number on their phone to select an amount of alligators and a special request for an extra fee. When a number from 1 through 9 is pressed, a corresponding amount of fully grown, live American alligators, Alligator Mississippi Ianis, identified as SCP-3579-2, will enter the specified area through any body of water within 10 meters of identified location and attempt to fulfill the request. If no water is within the 10 meter radius, a small puddle which expands to accommodate the amount of alligators will form. If nothing is requested, instances of SCP-3579-2 will remain hostile. After 10 minutes, any instance of SCP-3579-2 currently not in the water will attempt to return to the body of water, into which they will dematerialize. If the body of water was created by SCP-3579, it will dissipate into water vapor. Instances of SCP-3579-2 display various anomalies compared to regular American alligators. Instances of SCP-3579-2 are always male, exactly 4 meters long, and visually exact to any other instance of SCP-3579-2. If kept outside of a body of water for more than 5 minutes, instances of SCP-3579-2 will suffer myocardial infarction, causing them to cease life functions. Recent scans of the DNA of multiple instances of SCP-3579-2 concluded that each instance has identical genetic makeup. The location that SCP-3579 operates from is currently unknown. Test Log Test 3579-01 Location Chosen Wetlands, Louisiana Amount Requested 6 Objects Present None Special Request None Purpose Initial Test of the Capabilities of SCP-3579 Result 6 Instances of SCP-3579-2 violently thrashed out of the water in a tight circle and constantly leaped and attacked the air above them for 10 minutes before returning to the water. Test Log 3579-02 Location Chosen Pond within Biological Research Site 104 Amount Requested 2 Objects Present 2 Class D Personnel D3579-01 standing next to the pond and D-3579-02 standing 15 meters away. Special Request Attack the Class D personnel. Purpose Test if SCP-3579 can manifest instances of SCP-3579-2 in a closed environment, as well as test SCP-3579-2's hostility towards humans. Result Two instances of SCP-3579-2 crawled out of the pond. 
the first immediately attacked D3579-01, while the second chased down D3579-02 and attacked. Both instances of SCP-3579-2 killed their respective Class D personnel and returned to their pond after 10 minutes. Researchers note. Well, that was gruesome. Remind me to keep that number secure. Heck. Doctor. Test 3579-03. Location chosen. Beside me. Within a research laboratory on Site 15. Amount requested. 1. Objects present. A live pig. Special request. None. Purpose. Test to see if SCP-3579-2 can manifest itself without a water source as well as its hostility toward animals. Result. A small puddle formed on the floor of the lab besides Dr. Despite the puddle not being deep at all, an instance of SCP-3579-2 emerged from it, with its body half submerged as it thrashed. It did not attempt to eat the pig. Researchers note. Seems these things won't actively hunt unless told to. Dr. Test 3579-04. Location chosen. A bowl of water within a two-roomed research laboratory in Site 15. Amount requested. 3. Objects present. A remotely closed door between the two rooms. Special request. Enter the second room. Purpose. Test SCP-3579-2's lifespan out of water. Result. Three instances of SCP-3579-2 dove from the bowl, two of which attacked the Class D personnel standing near the doorway and later returned to the bowl. The third instance traversed D-3579-05 and attacked them. The doorway was locked down while the instance of SCP-3579-2 was in the room without the bowl. After five minutes of being trapped, the instance of SCP-3579-2 suffered myocardial infarction and died. Test 3579-05. Location chosen. Within a research laboratory in Site-15. Amount requested. 1. Objects present. A clipboard with a research notes page placed on the ground. SCP-1161 left open in a display case. Special Request Research SCP-1161 Purpose See if SCP-3579-2 has non-destructive purposes. Result A sink within the lab turned itself on, filling with water. A single instance of SCP-3579-2 climbed out and calmly crawled towards the clipboard and SCP-1161. After being hunched over the clipboard for about four minutes, the instance of SCP-3579-2 climbed back into the sink. The clipboard was filled out in scrawny handwriting. Clipboard filled out by SCP-3579-2. Name. Instant Alligator. Researching. SCP-1161. Observations. Had words how to build a self. And instructions on how to build one. The rest of the document is blank. Researchers note, huh, this could have a somewhat useful purpose. Dr. Test 3579-06. Location chosen. Surface of lunar area 32. Amount requested. 1. Objects present. None. Special request. None. Purpose. Result. A small puddle of liquid water formed on the lunar surface, and one instance of SCP-3579-2 leapt from it, immediately suffocating due to the vacuum of space. The puddle dissipated without SCP-3579-2 returning to it. Researchers note, Whose idea was this? Dr. P